Alright everybody, what is up? It is your boy Gimzilla coming at you with another Hearthstone match point. The show where I bring you my 11 and X runs in an attempt to show you what arena picks work out and what cards you should maybe shy away from. This week we are showing off the Paladin Uther Lightbringer and I couldn't be happier. He is going to be the fifth hero to grace his presence on the match point arena. So... This will be my fifth character that I'm fighting for the elusive 12 win dream with, so very excited, very excited to bring that to you, and I might seem a little anxious to you, but maybe that's because I'm playing a very aggressive, aggressive aggro deck, so essentially what I am is an aggro paladin, I fight for board control in the early game, I have some crucial 2 drops and 3 drops that get me there, and followed by a backbone of four and five drops and the basically the aggression never stops I'm going towards your face and my win condition would be these lovely little true silver champions right here so I basically nickel and dime for 10-15 damage in the early game and close it out with I finish it up with my true silver champions use them like fireballs and it's been working out quite well um, the other all-star of my deck, the MVP of the early game, would be my muster for battle. This card is absolutely a crucial card in the Paladin Toolkit. So crucial, in fact, it was the only card I lost to in my draft. I lost to a turn 3 muster for battle into a turn 4 sea giant, and boy did that tempo get out of control. So muster for battle is totally great. I have my own little sweet combos with it, knife juggler for one. Knife Juggler turn 2 into a turn 3 muster for battle is just absolutely where you want to be in this game. He turns into a, from a Knife Juggler into a Knife Rifle. So he is just gunning him out. An absolute threat. Um, other cards to pair it with would be my Quarter Master. I can just sneak a couple 1-1s one down, play a muster for battle into a Quarter Master. And essentially, if I can even land Quarter Master on 1 to 2 recruits, I'm getting insane value for it. Even one recruit at 2-2, two, two, you add that onto the hero, that's essentially a 4-7. Add a few more, and that is a 6-9. So better stats than the Ogre for 5. And we all know how much I love the Ogre, don't we? Alright, anyways, back-breaking killers. We got the Stormwind Champion and the Guardian of Kings to help kind of bring back games where I almost lose it. So, Guardian of Kings, Paladin, Notorious 4 healing. You should definitely draft healing when you have opportunities. Um, other... MVP is the last card I'm going to highlight here, the Enhanso Mechanico. One card I thought that was going to be rather lackluster turns into be an insane pick, an absolutely insane pick. Um, if you can land his, land his battle cry on even two minions, any more than two, and he is absolutely insane, but two minions, it really supercharges your minions in a way that you don't really see the possibilities until you play with this guy on the board, until you see him in a few random board states and how much he can swing it into your favor. Um, adding Divine Shield even just to one or two minions and, that you're able to make trades with and stay full health on, absolutely insane, absolutely a great neutral epic card. And especially sweet in the Paladin uh, set with the hero power included, you add a character he just gets an extra taunt, and your opponent's just griping over your 1-1 one, one taunt. It's that much better. All right, anyways, guys, that's it. That's my Paladin deck. Aggro into a sweet curve out of gentle 4, 5, 6, a 7. All right, here we go. Going into that 12th game. Get excited. 11-2 Uther Lightbringer. Make sure that if you like the video, guys, you comment down below. Consider hitting that thumbs up, but definitely leave a reply and get engaged because that's really what keeps me motivated and encouraged to get these videos out to you. Alright, so versus Malfurion. A muster for battle in our starting hand is a great start. I believe I'm going to throw the Stormwind Champion back. And I might keep the abusive. Because he'll make for good trades. But I could just throw it back and hope for like a knife juggler or something that's really essential with the muster. Well met. 
Alright. No whammy, one drop. It's kind of insane how much uh, one drops are affecting this game right now. I feel like they're more they're more crucial than they have been in the past. He's ramping. He's ramping. I like that play a little more than Muster right now, just because if he just had like a swipe and could go face and kill four of my 1-1s, one I would defeat the purpose. So we'll see if he plays around the right secret. He might be thinking that it's uh, Avenge, because Avenge is easily one of the most powerful Paladin secrets available. But that bluff will work to my advantage. Druid seems to be a little nervous. Wait, not the clock. So he did have a swipe. That's dangerous. This is gonna hurt him right here then. Mm, did he have time for that in regulation? I don't know. I have no consecrates in my deck, or else it'd be looking a little different right now. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. For justice. So if he has a second swipe, I pretty much lose just right then and there. I would love if that draw a card stopped him from attacking. Oh, that makes my life so much easier. Oh my gosh, there's my juggler. A little late, buddy, a little late. It's all good, it's all good. We'll make it happen. We will make it happen, Mr. Juggler. Not like that. It's okay, you're new to this. You're new to this.
It's not looking very good, guys. This deck kind of just petered out. I'd say that was mostly caused because... I'd say it was mostly from being an aggro deck and then these 12-1 guys had swipe and the other one played a turn 4 8-8 eight, eight, and oh guys I'm gonna freaking not get my 12-1 oh, <sighs> so I thought I don't want to deal with these just like I literally can't deal with these I have no cards available to me He's out of cards at least, we'll see how it goes. If he drafted like two threes though, he'd win the game from here. Heartbroken, guys. I'm heartbroken. It was just such a fun and enjoyable ride up to 11 wins, and I felt like 12 was right there. It was so close, but oh, I just got shut out by ridiculousness. I think like the druid was my first legitimate loss. This is more gold than I got for my last 12 win. And better rewards with the golden micro machine. Like, what an all star card to pull. Alright, let's open our packs up. 25 dust. After every great loss is great draws, so. I have that faith. Grove Tender. You guys might be saying great draws, and that's not the best draw, but. It's a usable druid card. It's pretty hard to find a constructible usable card in any pack nowadays. So, constructible usable Grove Tender. I accept you. Thank you guys. I'm going to hang my head low. A rather uneventful and lackluster ending to a glorious glorious 11 and 3. You know, just be just be happy with where you get. You know that that puts my my KDR that puts me pretty far in the positive. So, I must say better run than not i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching i always appreciate the views you know it comment down below tell me i mean i obviously made misplays i had to have i was tilted throughout the entire game though i don't know i was way behind i was way behind i should have held the muster i think for when i had a combo with it but i was too far behind to hold it i just didn't have any cards 
Um, anyways, comment, where'd I go wrong? Help me out. Help me analyze this beast. And I will see you guys next time. Gimpzilla, out.